<laughs> is it complicated or is it me that's making it complicated? Shakespeare said, journeys end in lovers meeting. And this is all part of embracing the Januaries. I don't want the January blues and I'm doing everything I can to chase them away. We've got a bit of noise in the garden because the gardener's here today and I'm so excited. He's been here all morning, it's about half one now. The previous tenant, because we're renting here, didn't do anything with the garden and it became really, really overgrown. And it's not a very big garden or anything like that, but it's a really exciting aspect of living here because if you've been here a little while, you will know that James and I haven't had a garden for 10 years or a bit longer because we've been living in, well, a van. And then more recently for the last four years, we've been living in a flat, which was on the first floor. So the garden is a really big part of the excitement of the place as well as James's garage, of course, but that's a, I could do a whole other video about that. And the reason I picked this particular gardener was because he was so, on his website, he said, you know, how respectful he was about, you know, birds' nests and nature. James and I were talking to him and Mr. Robin was sitting on the tree watching him very closely. So I said to him, you know, Mr. Robin's got his eye on you. I tried to reassure Mr. Robin that, you know, it's all going to be okay. Anyway, I'm working at home today. I kind of, I went into the studio yesterday, which was Sunday, to do some arty bits that I wanted to do. And so I kind of swapped my days around a little bit. So I'm, I'm working at home. So I've got a little bit of bed hair, but you know, it's okay. We're allowed to have bed hair in here, so... Done the first step of my January plan, which is basically to leave the house, to actually get out of the house. Yes. And to some that might that may sound like a small thing, and to others it may sound like a big thing. To me, it seems like a big thing. <laughs> yeah, packed on the back for getting out of the house. Just let me um put you down somewhere. <laughs> and because I haven't 
talk to you for a little while because it's been, you know, the in-between time, the in-between the Christmas and the New Year thing. We all know about that sort of time. And I, we've had family to stay, my daughter, son-in-law, grand son, proper chill out time and catch up heaven basically and I think I scored the highest out of everyone with the most consecutive days to stay at home. Should I be proud of that? I don't know but that's the truth of the matter. Today is the first day that I'm kind of left on my own in actual fact. James is working away so he, he left really really early this morning. I'm home alone basically even though I'm not home right now. Emergency vehicle, sorry. I'm on the no plan plan. I kind of like it that way. I'm listening to the fairies. Yes, and, and doing what they tell me to do. I've had this YouTube channel for three Januaries, I think. Is this the third January? But I know that the last January and the January before, I had a video, but I called it the January Blues or the Januaries or something like that. I know we're all familiar with the Januaries where we have this holiday time. Then we have to get back to the real world. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere like me, it's the dark days. So we've got the dark days of winter. So that can make it harder for some people if they're sensitive to light. It does affect all of us, I know. So I put these videos up and they were called the January Blues. And I thought, I wonder if I can flip that around. James always likes to say to me, can you flip it? And so if something's going a little bit wonky, a little bit sideways, a little bit away from how you wanted it to be. And it's something you can kind of control a little bit because a lot of things are out of our hands, aren't they? I know. There's some major things going on around us as well and a kind of global perspective and this impacts us as well. So with all this going on, can we affect any of that? Not unless we go within first, I believe. And so I want to recharge from the inside out, if you like, instead of just kind of giving it to my productivity or doing chores around the house and things like that, because believe me, I need to reset my house after, you know, the whole holiday period and visitors and stuff. Do laundry and make beds and reset things. And I've just moved house, so I still have a lot of unpacking to do. I'll be honest about that. But at the same time, I wanted this video to be more of a befriending January, a reframe of the Januaries, if you like. So I'm going to be doing some things to support my well-being in as many ways as I can muster the energy right now, because I don't have a lot. And the first task of today was to get out the house. You'll have to let me know in the comments what your little things are for beating the Januaries if you get them because then we can help each other out, can't we, in our little community down there. Yes. And that is what I really love about YouTube and I really appreciate you keeping me company and everyone else company as well. So another thing I've decided to do to help me with the Januaries and energy levels is to know when I've had enough <laughs> and to still feel worthy and to know that it is enough and I am enough. I keep seeing that everywhere, I am enough. And so are you, yes. So I'm gonna go home now and I might read or I might watch a movie, I don't know. But I'm gonna take you with me, that's for sure. Because we all deserve a rest.
so I didn't come into the studio for a few days and it's my first I suppose proper day back and last week I was working really hard on the declutter video so if you've not seen that one yet yeah it was an epic edit let's just say it was fun and maybe it inspired you to do a little bit of decluttering as well which makes me really happy if it did my clothes are still in a decent state I have to say although I have been living in thermals of late because it even snowed yesterday I don't think it snowed here for about six years but the floods have been terrible so the worst flooding for 30 years so I've been a bit challenged with the roads in getting in how does it feel to be in the studio a little bit cold a little bit weird uh, it's taken me a little while to come in to be honest I had an extra coffee this morning and yeah it wasn't easy to get out the house being that it, it is really cold as well but I wanted to come in and check on the plant babies if nothing else and I've been pottering for about an hour now so I'm feeling like what I usually do to get back into my creative flow after a little gap is to go into my art journal so that's what I'm going to do some of my art journal pages are in this frame and this was for the exhibition it's actually hanging that way but yeah so i need to take these out and re-sew them back into my handmade journal and then what do i need to do i think i'd just like to review my journal and my journaling process i kind of like to review it every year really i kind of naturally do it in january i feel like i want to do some gratitudes for last year and i feel like that's a, that's a lot of feels but i do feel like that is a kind of reflection or it's going to be my kind of reflection anyway on last year I'm looking at my gratitude what were the things that you know sprung out in my journaling to do some gratitudes i might even use my new old typewriter as well which i've managed to bring in this morning i've had it a few months and i haven't had to play with it in here yet so i need to do that because it's really fun and apart from that dear friends i have no idea and yes i am a bit ambidextrous Today I've just got in and what's the time? It is quarter past three and that's completely okay. So I could give myself a really hard time because it's cold. It's really, really cold. I could give myself a really hard time or I could say it's January and I'm wintering and I felt like snuggling up at home and I needed a bit of inspiration time to get my juices flowing again. I've come in now to do some journaling so I want to do some more on this one. That focusing, focus please because it's winter i kind of need extra light which isn't ideal when i'm filming my process but you know sometimes we just have to improvise in order to make things work for us and there's often little things we can tweak isn't there and one of the things i wanted to tweak today was to not have to come in give myself a little bit of leeway during these winter days of not wanting to leave the house and so pats on the back because i did actually leave the house anyway i'm going to get on with this because i could talk to you for hours but Thank mm -hmm. you.
So it's the middle of January and this can be a really difficult time for people, can't it? Because either it's really, really cold, like for us in the Northern Hemisphere, or it might be, you know, the midst of the heat of the summer. I don't want to seek shade from heat. I want to snuggle down with my scarves and my thermals and yeah, preferably be at home is my truth. I'm struggling to get out the house. I'm struggling because I don't want to leave the house. I, I'm happy at home. I feel safe, cozy there, etc. My motivation is really low at the moment just being really honest in here and I know I'm not the only one for sure I had a day last week where I really I kind of felt paralyzed by the whole situation in the world as well because it's it is paralyzing it makes us feel powerless like we can't do anything about it even in our own little corner of the world you know what difference does that make we'll get to that in a minute but at the end of the day I was looking at something the UK government is doing and where we're plowing a load of billions of pounds into and when I came out the building that day, I think it was, it, it must have been last Wednesday, I came out the building, there was a man just outside, an older man who must have been about 70. He was obviously homeless. He had a very battered empty shopping bag. It looked an empty shopping bag. No socks. He had shoes but they were sandals we're in the minus temperatures as well here at the moment i was walking to my car and i passed him and i kind of looked his way and said hello caught his eye if you like and um he said hello back so i thought you know i could maybe try and see if i could do something for him get him some socks something to eat something i ended up persuading him to have a lift and you might think, oh, you know, you're a little bit crazy, Wendy. Is that safe to give someone a lift? He was so frail. And if you'd have seen him, you wouldn't have been asking that question. And I've never done it before. So I'm very much, I go on intuition. And so I, I made that decision, rightly or wrongly. I got him into my car. I took him. He was actually being sort of ha temporarily housed at a local kind of inn, a travel inn. So I took him there and um, yeah, it was just paralyzing, mortifying to see what we as a country are spending my tax money on basically and your tax money on. I don't get political on here. I very rarely do anyway. I, you know, only to mention these kind of humane stories, touching base, you know, with where our, our priorities should really lie. So I know you, when you watch, you know, I know where you're coming from. We're very heart-centered. We're very humanity-based. Love, basically, is our core here of where we're coming from. And so I know you feel the same, which is why I'm kind of mentioning the, you know, money aspect of it. But it's like, please anyway the outcome of this for me was kind of to shut me down for a day or two last week where i really didn't want to leave the house even more than just the january's and just the cold and just the motivation lack of kind of thing I kind of got to that place you know when we spiral down i know you know what i mean when we spiral down and we hit that kind of thought of you know what what's the point what difference does it make anyway and i just want to say at this point that i don't know something in my subconscious clicked in with the whole business of doing something really close to home and it can just mean smiling at somebody and uplifting their day who knows how that could affect someone and the impact that could make we just don't know a little gesture make someone a hot drink you know you walk past a homeless person you, you can go and buy them a coffee or and a sandwich or you can go and chat to them you know you might just uplift their day enough to help them push through a really hard time and that and that can be true for anyone as well you know you can never judge a book can we by its cover so do your little bit in your corner and that also includes you know doing things for ourselves as well and taking care of ourselves because our own mental health and well-being is so important and this is why i always say try to keep your lights shining bright because if you can do that you know that the song this little light of mine i'm going to let it shine someone else can light their light from yours and it doesn't dim yours in any sense whatsoever and it, it can cost nothing so it does matter you know we know this don't we anyway i'm gonna go and get myself something to eat come back and you know just do a little something i'm really struggling in the january's and i'm working hard to show up and refriend this winter i've done what i can I showed up to a meeting.
meeting this morning, which was important, you know, to show support for certain members of this community in the building I rent as well, which is, you know, going through some changes right now. Inevitable, I know. I'm going to go and get some nice food and I'm going to do some creativity as well. I'm going to do my bit to polish my lights. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. And if you need a little reminder to go and polish yours, go and do a little something just for you. Try to do that every day if you can. Yes. It really matters, it really does.